Riley, can you make it? Sorry, we fell off the face of the earth for a little while, but we've had some big changes in our lives and um, some big news and went through a really busy season, but really busy. yeah, so um, we're back. We're going to hopefully start posting more regularly again and uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on what has changed in our lives. So the first big change happened on December 12th. So Brian, my husband, quit his job. Um, so yeah, so we are totally living off of our dog income that we're getting. It's really exciting, kind of scary. It's a little scary. Um, but yeah, but I think, I mean, we've really like prayed and planned for this for a long time. So, so far it's been a month. Um, and so far it's gone okay. Yeah, so far. Yeah, we haven't killed each other no yet. Complaints. Yeah, we're both uh, still good. So there's that. Mm -hmm. Other news, we um, got a new dog that's going to be, so our seventh dog for breeding. He's just a puppy yet, but his name is Winston. He's a standard poodle. He'll he be one of our... Winnie the Poodle. Winnie the Poodle. <laughs> yeah. So he will be um, a future stud. So we'll introduce you to him. Dad, do you like Winston the Poodle? I do like Winston the Poodle. Yep, we're we're getting to getting to know him better and like him. You like Winston the Poodle? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. um, so we got some news not too long ago that one of our puppies went home with Giardia. Dun, dun, dun. If you didn't know, Giardia is a parasite. Adult dogs can have it, and they don't have any symptoms from it. Usually, they can be like totally immune to it. <laughs> um, but it can be, <laughs> yeah. But it can be really bad for puppies, and so it's a huge pain to deal with and really hard to get rid of. So we're treating all our dogs, giving them all medicine to treat them, and then the next thing we have to do is it it comes out in their poop. And so if they um, poop and then they get any of that in their mouth, um, then they just keep reinfecting themselves with it. Step two is to get them away from all previous poop, so out of our backyard where they used to be going to the bathroom. And then step three, we need to clean up all poop from now on and like pick it up right away and bleach the area and keep them in a sanitized environment. So we have them in our basement and they have like a concrete pad right outside. So they are in a totally sanitized environment and we're picking up poop every time. As soon as they go, we pick it up and bleach the area. And then um, doing a pretty intense cleaning every day and then giving them their medications. And then the plan with the backyard is to bleach the entire two acres of our backyard. <laughs> and um, hopefully mm. the freezing temperatures lately will um, help. help kill it off. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of breeders I've read just kind of live with it and just automatically treat all their puppies before leaving. But we didn't really want to do that. Um, if we don't have to, it's expensive and it's probably not great for them. So we're going to try to get it to eradicate it. So it is like battle Giardia here at our house. And um, we're attacking it with a vengeance. That's right. Yep. What do you want to say about that, Riley? Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I cut my hair. Poof. That's the last. Elephant in the room. <laughs> Get that out of the way. <laughs> That's the last update. Yeah, so I'll just show you what we've been doing to fight off Giardia and introduce you to our new puppy.
two, still have two of Ronnie's puppies from the last litter. Um, there they are. This one closer is Clark, and that one farther is Murphy. Now Murphy has a home already. He is leaving this Friday to Boston, and um, but Clark, we are still looking for a home for Clark. He had a family, but they backed out. They didn't tell us why. Um, well, they did tell us why. It was because of like family circumstances. So they are not buying him anymore. So we need to find him a home. Right, Clarky? It's a good boy. He's so sweet. All right. Another big update I forgot to mention. This guy, Duke, has been super busy. We've had four girls come into heat. So Reagan, Izzy, Akira, and Denali all came into heat. So he has gotten to finally actually fulfill his role as a stud dog. Except that he didn't actually do it the right way, so we had to AI all of them. Oh, he's getting me. He got me, Riley. <laughs> he's kissing you. Why does Blair have one shoe on all the time? Oh, yep. <laughs> one shoe and always a fork. Ready to eat, aren't you? <laughs> Is that what she's holding? Oh, yeah. <laughs> At least it's a toy fork you this time. You can assume it's always some sort of silverware or plasticware. <laughs> <laughs> She's a weird thing with forks. She's always ready for her next meal. I'm very opportunistic. Hey! Is oh, the door's open. I was gonna say, Izzy came into the dog door. So we figured something out with Izzy. She just doesn't know what to do with freedom. But as soon Denali. as we... <laughs> this, is, this is Izzy right here. But as soon as we got her in the basement and got her in a more confined area, she is like the sweetest dog. She like comes up to us, she's like wagging her tail. Not the sweetest, okay, not the sweetest, but she's hugely different from what she used to be. So she like actually comes up to us and wags her tail and licks our hand and stuff and like, like she's still a little cautious, but it's like a night and day difference, I would say. Which makes me, gives me a lot of hope for her. This is a little ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> just, just keep talking. You're doing great. Thank you. You tuned in. Was it a dog or was it baby Blair? Baby Blair. She said baby. She did. Winston. She's a stinker. Bye. Bye. Very stinky. Yep, it's yours. I believe it's yours. No. You, you're stinky? This is Winston. This hey, is our new hey, poodle. Say hello. Say hello. He is a phantom merle. I don't know what and he's got a little white spot on his chest, so kind of like a phantom merle tricolor. I just stuck with a great white tricolor. So he'll he'll be about like 40 pounds, so we're hoping for some good medium-sized Bernadoodles in the future. About Reagan's height, but a little bit about that size. what we expect him to grow up to be. <laughs> Look at the puppies playing with Duke. Yeah, it looks like a very mutual <laughs> He's had enough. Ronnie's got her ball. She's like gnawing on it. How is she even getting it? She's like going in the next She's got a piece of it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what? Like saying a secret to it. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? You hear what I'm saying? No, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, it's like she's like snuggling up with it. <laughs> now Akira's got the volleyball. Oh. <laughs> you ready to go up or? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, Akira's ready too. Okay, come on, let's all go up. Come on, Riley. You coming? No. Time to say. Goodbye to the puppies for a little bit, and then we'll come back down in a few hours and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> she laughing or crying? It's... Puppies! Puppies, puppies, puppies! Oh, they all come running! Hello! Thank you. Where 
Radar, tell us how your leg is doing. So he made a full recovery. He got surgery done to take out the pin, and the vet said it he had healed beautifully. So, um, so yeah, you can see where he was shaved, and then this is where the incision was. Excuse me. But yeah, so he's doing awesome. He doesn't limp at all. He's good. Our evening routine is to sweep. We've got all the dogs outside locked up, except for the puppies. And then we're gonna give them their medications. And we're gonna mop the floor with the steam cleaner to sanitize it. And then we're going to um, feed them and wipe off their feet and bottoms. So, every night. For treating the puppies with Giardia, we are using the Panicur that the vet gave us, and then this is Metronidazole. Metronidazole? I don't know. Pills. Alright. Put them down. Try to work it into his mouth a little bit. Get back in there and just squirt. I hope he doesn't spit all back up. Good boy! Good boy! We're usually pretty decent about okay, it. Okay, so are they out of pills? The puppies are done with their pills. They're done with pills. Okay, good. Alright. And then we write down which ones we treat so we can be correct. You want to explain what you're doing? What I'm doing here, very scientific, is I am cutting up a hot dog. Notice how I go back to front. <laughs> There's other ways to do it, but that's the way I found to do the best. And we're putting little pills. Some were a little bigger. This is for, you can see it. It's very small, so it's pretty easy. We just like a little, little pouch in there and seal it right up. The hot dog, since it's made of we don't know what, just forms right around it. Like that. <laughs> 